But Errol, if next company will tell me I have positive, so what next? Yeah, then they will accept that. So you can show a racist country, you might say, give me a while, you lose your money, and people like, you do one of the things, you do one of the things, you can't so many else. Because I'm in so fucking shock. Because I'm not busy to shock you, you don't understand what you're saying, you can't come here, you know. So when when I can come on my yard? What do you mean when you can come on my yard? So if I'm sick for real, which I am sick because they call, they told me to call the emergency now, and they will put us on quarantine. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try to find next express. Yeah, you can find another express and do it. Just go do it. You can't believe it. You can go do it and see. We still have to go to the other. Go do it. Right. So, guys, I want to tell you what happened because it really pissed me off. So, everything, everything was okay. And I was getting ready to come back home to Jamaica to my son and my husband. And for that, we had to do to enter America and to enter Jamaica, we had to do coronavirus test. So um, I uh, picked the, the one express one that takes three hours to know your results so I already I already went to see my granny grandfather I told them bye bye I cried a little bit she cried and then with Leo we went to the office where they test people so everything everything was so perfect and everything was going smooth Toss that test, Leo. Ah, Leo. Relax, Leo. <laughs> so we passed the test and the way she she did it so gentle I really enjoyed how everything went smooth everything so I was like okay three hours and I I will have results on my hands so we can get ready and return back to Jamaica and then I came home <laughs> it's crazy then after I think one hour and a half they called me and they told me that both of us we are positive we, we were tested positive so this is the first test I, re I received and as you see guys it says positive here my name everything date of issue same date here my son Lionel test results positive also they even gave me a copy of their license license here document that shows that they are legal and stuff we had coronavirus so i was like how the hell it's possible because we were feeling so great and yeah they, they said sometimes it can it can happen and you don't feel nothing no fever no flu nothing it just without symptoms so i was like okay so everything changed in my head so i was like what to do so 
I rushed to uh, the, the, their office, clinic, whatever they call it, and uh, I don't know the emotions I was feeling. I was feeling so frustrated because I, I was 100% sure people are right because it's such a serious place. They work with labor laboratory with lab. So I was thinking for real. We had probably coronavirus, but we just were not feeling it. So I was like, let me buy the the test. The the one they they, they were selling on reception. The uh, the one the like like a pregnancy test, but it's not uh, for pregnancies for test your coronavirus. If you are positive or negative, so. I bought that one so it cost like $20 and it said like 99 and 9% uh, the test was right like the result would be right so I was I, I, I tested in front of them myself just to prove that it was so impossible for me to have coronavirus because it was just impossible and you know 15 minutes it took 15 minutes it's like a pregnancy test i had to swipe my nose or my mouth and then i dip it in a little water the water it came with a package and then i, I pour it on the uh the cassette the, it, it, the, there was a cassette like a pregnancy test so it showed me that I was negative. So all the nurses there, they were like, oh, it's so impossible, it's so impossible. And then I was saying like, you know, guys, I am not joking with it because I have a very expensive ticket on my hands and I need to be in this country tomorrow. I cannot take this thing for a joke because it really it means a lot for me it means a lot for me i want to go home i want to hug my son because it's been a while and because of them i couldn't do that so i was like what we can do because it was in the evening so the other laboratories they were closed so they had one they work with was open so i said okay give me something else test me again i don't know do something because i need to know what is going on you, you provided me the, the the positive test and i'm providing you just now i I tested myself in front of you guys and it shows negative who to believe what result to to believe in what result to believe so then I was like okay this like I calmed down a little bit but I was panicking because I was sitting on my bags literally I had my bags packed my backpack ready everything everything ready for me to travel i prepared clothes for clothes for tomorrow to fly <laughs> everything so they said okay we can test you they said okay we can test you again but this test will would take longer the test that i took took longer the second one for free oh thank you a lot for free yeah so they they tested me for free, free again and and leo because they did not test me again they had already our materials the swabs so they they, they just tested it with a different method yeah so she said okay if if so the nurse there said to me okay if it would be um negative tomorrow i'll call you in the morning i'll call you in the morning and tell you i was like okay but i already arranged t 
taxi guy to pick me up and carry us to the airport with bags because I have two heavy bags and he was about to come 10 in the morning and they said okay we are open at 8 30 so we're gonna try our best and we'll try to call you before 10 but I was I was so panicking so in the in the night I was sitting and saying like if I would not change my ticket now because the time is going I would lose it and it would be it would be so expensive for me to buy new ones if if I am really positive because I was thinking in my head an organization a place like that would know better would provide a real 100% result but listen the story so I changed the date so they said if I am positive I have to quarantine two weeks and after I can take another test so I was like okay two weeks plus one more week so I picked the next date and changed my flight that was today I changed it like three weeks next three weeks I pick it for next three weeks and I did I, I, I don't know I was panicking that's why I did it I didn't want to lose a ticket honestly guys so I had to pay like three fifty dollars but compared to ticket price if I would lose ticket, I would pay like 1500 uh, or maybe about 2000 again. So I couldn't really, you know, I couldn't really let it go. So I paid like 350 for two of us and I changed the date. I changed the date. And the date is so far. I can't believe. So in the morning, people called me. They called me about nine in the morning okay and they told me that we are very sorry you are negative your results came and and you guys are negative so I said how the hell is possible first you tell me it's positive and then you just switch and said it's negative like it's a toy question like I'm a toy like I mean it's such a serious matter and you just give me your apology I don't know. So now I stopped in Russia for the next three weeks. It's not a lot, but it's it's fucking a lot. It's about months. So it's crazy because I, I don't know how I'll manage here so long, and then again I will have to do it again. And if I never had coronavirus, so. But if next time I will have for real, so and, and then what? And what if Jamaica will be closed? My biggest worry, Jamaican government to close the borders. This is my biggest fear. That's what I'm worrying the most about. And my next results, how I can trust people after that with their results, with their lab tests. PCR tests. It's such a serious matter. They take it for for a joke, for nothing. It's just why they couldn't do it instantly. Why they couldn't do the next express test? I just do not understand. So I'm stuck. No, can't leave until next three weeks and then again i'll have to do i'll have to do the same procedure over so i just don't know how to go i'll definitely try to next test i will try to do it in in different places places so if they have again some shit to tell me i can go to the next clinic and take their results and show them but 
I don't know. I just I fucking lost. I I fucking lost a such a trust in in the such official places like that because listen, I pay for one test for me like fifty dollars and was sold fifty dollars and uh, 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 and three fifty. Okay, I pay f to replace the date. And plus, my mental health is affected after it. I'm, I'm just crying. I'm non-stop crying. I don't know how to help the situation. All night I was up. Who will replace all those hours of... Anxiety. I just don't know. And all they can tell me is sorry. When I came to the air clinic, they were like, "We are very sorry. Oh, we, uh, we are. We hope we did not ruin your plans. What do you mean? What do you mean? You did not. You hope you did not ruin my plans. Of course, you fucking ruin all my fucking life with your fucking thing. I was supposed to be on a plane going back to Jamaica." But because of this fucking shit, I could not. <laughs> and the worst thing, if I would never ever come back to that office and take tests in front of them, I would think I am positive, and I would call the doctors who 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 work with real coronavirus patients to come and you know treat us. Maybe they would send me to the clinic, the, to the hospital where, where where those patients are. Tr they treat those people with coronavirus, and I would really catch one. Oh, it fucking it is fucking possible. All they could say, we are very sorry, but sometimes it happens. It's like you could do anything and then say, oh, we are very sorry. I'm very sorry. It's like the sorry can can do something for me and they did not they did not even offer me the next test for free I don't know I don't know what to do I'm just crying I, I don't know how I can manage three more weeks it's about months it's about one month and plus I'm so afraid what if I am not if I am not, if I am, I, I don't have coronavirus. So, what if tomorrow I'll get up and something? I don't know what to expect. But my mom says everything, what, what is done, done for the best. But trust me, I'm such, I'm such an bad. Mood. My spirit is lost. I can't stop crying because I want to go home to Jamaica. It's just so crazy. Listen, how can people give me this test? I am fucking negative. Let look. I'm negative. You see here? Negative. I am negative. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Already? was sitting on my bags, I packed everything, everything ready.